Well, next month you'll have the opportunity to decide whether Texas should expand its chances to create new state parks. Supporters of Proposition 14 rallied today at Austin's Peace Park off of Lamar Boulevard. Unsurprisingly, the Texas Coalition for State Parks loves the idea of creating the Centennial Parks Conservation Fund. Texas Parks and Wildlife pushed for this idea, pointing out that Texas ranks 35th when it comes to parkland per capita. We know, though, that we can't take our parks for granted. You know, our population is booming, and uh, already our existing state parks are sometimes bursting at the seams and can't keep up with the demand. Now, if approved, it means establishing a more than $1 billion fund to buy new parkland, but it wouldn't raise any taxes. Election Day is on November 7th. Now, adding some depth, Palo Pinto Mountains, about an hour west of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, could open some time next year. The state bought this area in 2012 and has been planning and developing the parks for years. The most recent purchase for Texas Parks and Wildlife has been Powder Horn Ranch between Houston and Corpus Christi. Acquisition happened in 2014. It's currently a wildlife management area along the Gulf Coast Prairie. That's still years away from opening, but you can schedule birding and hunting sessions through Parks and Wildlife.